Since we added payments to Alfia routers earlier this year, people have been asking about stablecoin support. Uh, we've been using native transactions on the Ethereum blockchain uh, to have the routers pay each other for bandwidth. And this is really great for its simplicity, but not so great due to the price instability of Ethereum. We were able to add support for the XDAI blockchain pretty quickly. Um, the XDAI blockchain is a sidechain where you can transact in DAI, a stablecoin pegged to the dollar, and not have to pay transaction fees in Ethereum like you would on the Ethereum blockchain. Uh, the problem with this is that it's sort of isolated. You can buy Ethereum pretty easily, but you can't buy XDAI nearly so easily. Uh, and in fact, before Coinbase added DAI, it was nearly impossible for a normal person to get DAI without somebody sitting there helping them through the technical aspects of it. So what I am happy to present now is our new headliner feature in the Beta 8 version of the Althea firmware, which is XDAI Bridge Support, which sort of gives you the best of both worlds. People can now use the Ethereum monetary on-ramp, and still exchange on the XDAI blockchain. So they get both the ability to hold and transact in a stable coin more quickly than Ethereum would normally allow, and they also get the flexibility of monetary on-ramps and off-ramps that Ethereum offers. Uh, so here I'm gonna demo this. I have a router in XDAI mode, and I'm going to send it some money. Um, so I'll go up here to MetaMask, send this address, low fees, 0 0.03. Yeah, that's five bucks. And then confirm. So I'm sort of glossing over the details here because this feature is actually quite complicated. Uh, but what happens is that when you send Ethereum to your router's address, it will detect it automatically exchange it for DAI, and then automatically bridge it over to the XDAI blockchain, where it will just show up as dollars on your router balance. Um, and this isn't exactly the fastest process in the world. It's going to take about five minutes for it to complete, but it is still infinitely better than the previous uh, difficulties you would have exchanging your Ethereum for DAI and then getting that die over to the XDAI blockchain manually. So as you can see, uh, the transaction was confirmed, the router picked up the deposit and is now pushing it through Uniswap to convert it to DAI. Um, we're going to end up with slightly less DAI than we uh, sent in ETH. You'll notice that I sent about $5 and it's converting only four. Uh, that's because we keep a dollar in Ethereum in the ETH address to continue to pay for fees, because obviously we still have to pay for Uniswap on the Ethereum blockchain, and we have to pay for the transactions to send the DAI, the newly minted, well, it's not minted, it's bought, uh, the newly purchased DAI to the token bridge, where it will then be pulled across by the XDAI validators. And as you can see, we've completed the Uniswap exchange, and now we've sent the transaction over to the bridge, and we're just sort of waiting for the XDAI validators to pick it up and uh, deposit it into our account. This is normally the longest part since cross-chain communication is a little bit slower than anything you can do on-chain, uh, but it's still a pretty straightforward process. I should probably take a moment to mention that the $1 is only kept the first time you move money through the bridge. The actual fees we're paying to exchange the tokens on Uniswap and to send them across the bridge are only on the order of 10 cents or so. We keep the dollar to be extra conservative. In some cases, when you deposit m more uh, Ethereum and the exchange rate has gone up, for example, your deposit will actually increase in size as it makes its way over to DAI because we will be 
taking some of what was previously a dollar off of the top and sending it across the bridge. In other cases, if the exchange rate has gone down, for example, you will find your deposit only slightly reduced. So this is a good compromise between uh, keeping a lot of money in Ethereum or trying to keep some fixed amount of Ethereum that may become insufficient in the future for fees. And there we go. For the interest of brevity, I've fast forwarded through the uh, three-ish minutes it took for the cross-chain bridge to operate, but here we have it. Our, our Ethereum deposit successfully bridged and deposited in XDAI on the router ready to use. Uh, as a note, we haven't removed straight Ethereum support. If you want to use it, you just have to select Ethereum from the drop-down here. So, yep, that's all for today. I uh, hope everybody enjoys the feature.